Hello, highly ambitious professionals. Are you not getting a response from your Amazon for your job application? In today's video, I like to walk you through the Amazon application process to help your credential be seen by the recruiters and your future hiring manager. If this is a first time meeting, my name is Holly Lee. I am with hollylee.co. I'm known for my premium VIP coaching program in helping senior level and executive leaders land positions with FANG employers. In this channel, I provide over 20 plus years of recruiting leadership and interview training and program management experiences from companies such as Amazon, Google, Meta, Facebook, and Microsoft to help you level up in your career. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the fancy bell icon so that you can be notified when I release a new video every week on top of my weekly Tuesday Live coaching. Let's talk about the online application process going into an Amazon job site which I will leave everything we talk about in the link in the description below. You can search by location, business categories, consumer, AWS, Kindle, Alexa, and etc. Job categories, for instance, position titles, or keyword phrase of the type of role that you would be interested in. Once you find one, click the apply button next to the role title on top of the page. I encourage you to take the time to review each description in greater detail to see if your background could fit into that environment. When it comes to are you the right fit for the Amazon culture, don't forget to check out my Amazon culture video. I will leave the link up here somewhere. For example, if you're interested in AWS and have never worked with a tech company such as VMware, Google Cloud, that's okay. Let's talk about where your data center or infrastructure experiences come from. What have you built? Who have you helped? What was your business impact? Look for key phrases inside a job description to help you expose the technical environment if you're a tech professional. And the same goes for non-tech roles such as program managers and product managers. I get a ton of questions from my members on YouTube and within my VIP coaching. Should I upload my cover letter? Let's pause for a second here. I have worked at Microsoft and these 90% of the fan companies in which the big secret is none of these companies require you to submit your cover letter or even read your cover letter, at least during the time I was with them. Leave a comment below and let me know your thoughts on cover letter. Do you agree with me or disagree with me and why? What have your experiences been in submitting a cover letter? If you'd like to know what a solid business impact should sound like as an example interview question, go download my star template below and I'll leave the link right here. Bonus tip. Did you know that you can replace your resume with your LinkedIn profile for Amazon or a lot of employers now? I encourage you to invest effort in fixing your LinkedIn profile regardless. The likelihood of an interviewer opening up your LinkedIn is very high over searching through their inbox or calendar invite to open an attachment of your resume during an interview or even reviewing your credential. What is the status of my application? Every recruiter operates differently. If your resume meets the job requirements in the keyword search from the recruiter, they will reach out to you to pre-screen. If you have a strong background in the type of role that they're trying to fill, the recruiter would jump out of their chair in sending you an online assessment or move you to the phone interview process with the hiring manager and or a peer. Now, another question I get a whole lot is, how do I land an interview at Amazon? Go take a look at my networking playlist to know how to reach out and network with your employer of choice to land a job interview. I will not recommend that you apply to jobs as there are hundreds if not thousands of applicants per open positions. These are just some of the rough numbers before the pandemic because in one of my recent weekly Tuesday at 12.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Live Coaching, I mentioned that I was hanging out in a fire chat conversation with the talent executives from Disney, Google, Yahoo, and quite a few others. They also share that there's about a million applicants per each software engineering job position as an example. 
If you have made it to the end of this video, you'll know that applying directly to any employer is not a good idea, right? Instead, fix your professional branding and make your LinkedIn profile stand out. Check out my discounted link to get my online resume and LinkedIn accelerator bundle for the price of one. I'll leave the link to everything we just talked about in the description below. Don't forget to check that out. By knowing what keywords to use in your niche, know what would make the recruiter jump out of your chair to speak with you. Have a resume and LinkedIn profile ready to share with any employer, anywhere and anytime. I wish you the best of luck in your job search journey and I'll look forward in answering all of your questions in my coaching every Tuesday with the upcoming links right here on my main YouTube channel. Have a fantastic day. I will talk to you soon.